Week 2, Operation Tactical Hypertrophy is complete. Another great week for Tom, and Tom gained 2 more pounds. Tom is scaring horses, farm animals, sasquatches, and everything else in the pro process. So before we get real deep into the training here, I just want to let you guys know, Tom's in charge of Jailhouse Strong Australia. I will put his email at the bottom of this uh, video. So if you want to get a shirt shipped internationally, you can um, you can contact Tom there. Also, Tom will be carrying Tijuana Barbell Club shirts, a flat shipping rate anywhere in the world. So look Tom up, hit him up, get your shirt. So here's just kind of started with the day. You know, first um, Tom did the yoke. He did four sets. He went 600, 750, 825, 900. Two minute break between sets. Farmers walk 35 seconds straight. He did 535 and 485. I guess a better term for it would be a frame carry. No straps on that. Grip did not give out one iota. He also supersetted that with high shrugs, as you saw right there. Um, great way to blast the traps. Obviously, he's working for Tom. Again, these damn farm animals, no good to get out of the way. Um, next, he went for that Zercher carries, 100 feet, um, 425 pounds, real good speed on those. Then he went RDLs, five second negative, um, and uh, it's just really to, there and mainly to hold positional strength. You get 465 for two sets of six, neck harness, 70 pounds, four sets of 15, and ab roller, three sets of six. That's day one. Right now, we're keeping this... Um, you know, if once a day, he's gaining like this, so we're not going to add extra till we need it. Day two, dumbbell bench press, a five-second negative. We're really um, trying to stay safe on these. And get, um, and so it's not so much about maximizing time under tension. It's just holding that positional strength again on these. Um, it's 115s. Uh, he did six sets, eight reps, supersetted um, with, with five-second negative. With seal rows, 260 pounds, six sets of 10 reps. Uh, he did the same type of deal with incline dumbbell presses, uh, chain flies, four sets of 12, side neck, uh, three sets of 20 with 50, and uh, dumbbell floor, pause, tricep extensions, uh, six sets of 12. Those feel great on his elbows. A lot of people, those actually do feel really good on your elbows, so you might want to give him a shot. Day three, box jumps, 36 inches. Um, those were pretty easy for him, but just really getting a good warm-up activation and keeping it moving because we, you know, if you as you gain weight, this operation tactical hypertrophy. This is not operation get big and not walk up a flight of stairs. So he has to keep moving. That's where we're integrating some hill, you know, not full out yet hill sprints, some light agility drills. So he's going to be mobile, agile, and hostile, not just a big ass son of a buck that can't move. Hatfield squats, five seventy for three sets of ten. Um, even the backward sled sled drags. Uh, forward neck harness, uh, step ups, 24 inches and in good athletic movement, leg curls, glute ham raises, and landmines there. Next, day four is a very strict arm day. Everything's extremely strict, perfect form. You know, feeling the muscle, muscle and tension, not just trying to go ape and, and move weight from point A to point B. Finally, day five, um, lateral cable raises, uh, face pulls, neutral grip pull ups. Um, Scott presses. He's a very good way to keep tension on the shoulders, like an Arnold press sort of, but not fully locked out. Straight arm pull downs. Um, 100 seconds straight, keeping great tension on the lat. Hammer strength seated row and cable chest flies. So let's talk a little bit about the Hatfield squats. Hatfield squats is a great um, body build, you know, great variation of the squat for, especially for taller guys that have trouble getting um, all the way down. And it's actually been a favorite even like a, a shorter bodybuilder like Branch Warren. Fred Hatfield's the one that came up with this exercise. He's used it with the likes of Lyle Alzado, of, of Vander Holyfield, and many of the all-time greats. So you think about it, usually you're you know you're limited on your squat by you know it could be your lower back strength or the sticking point, you know. So an, or sometimes just enormous ro loads is going to make you round and you can't get the damn weight up. Um, so what the the, um, the safety bar Hatfield squat eliminates this. So at you exert pressure against the bar you're holding out in front of you or the power if you had to use a power rack, and it helps you maintain a straight back throughout the entire squatting motion. Um, so what that what that does is you use your hands to sell to to like self spot. So it's almost like cables and continuous tension. So Tom's getting really good depth there, which is hard for a guy six eight, and he's self spotting. So if he encounters a sticking point. 
he's able to just apply, he's able to self-spot through that. This is not about just pulling himself up through that point. This is about self-spotting. So yes, you could throw on a thousand pounds and just, you know, try to prove a point or you can get the most out of it. It's like, it's like he gets continuous tension on that much. And, and it's huge for taller guys. And it's like, you're, you're able to tailor make this squat style to your body type. So if you've had issues, you know, cause like a regular safety squat, that's done, that's done to, um, to blast the sticking point. So you're kind of like, so you're kind of upper back sitting around and you're having to fight it with that. Uh, the Hatfield squats to circumvent a sitting point. It's causing an issue and you're able to get a bound on that. Um, so that's what we want to do right there. And, um, it's been huge for Tom, um, and any, a lot of the taller guys. So more athletic movements here and, um, very excited about what's to come for Tom. And, um, do you know, that, so here's the Scott presses right here. So he's got continuous tension on the muscle. We'll get Tom to hold those face pulls a little bit longer and the end with his hands neutral, but overall, man, really looking good. Really proud of Tom. Um, we're going to meet up soon in Australia. Exciting stuff to come. And keep up the good work, Tom.